And now let's create a new script. So we're going to go back to the service script service, click on the plus sign, select script, and here is our new script. If I go and run test right now, we know this script is going to run. And when the script runs, it's going to print this message, hello world. Let's run test and take a look. So it is running right now, but where is my message? I don't see hello world. Where is my message? The answer to that is it goes to your output window. To get to your output window, go to the view menu tab and hover over the output icon. Click on that. Here is my output window. And there it is. Hello world has been printed inside the output window. Let's now go and declare a new variable local message equals to hello. And then I'm going to print that message. I'm going to do print message. Let's run test and take a look. You can see it has printed hello, which is the value of this variable. Hello here is a string. You can concatenate another string to that string. To concatenate another string to that string, you can use the two dots. So here I'm going to do dot, dot, and then I'm going to put another string here. For example, I'm going to put a space in there and say world. Let me stop this first, go back to the script, and now we're going to run it again. You can see now it printed hello world. The reason I put a space in there because I want to have a space between the O and the W. Without inserting a space in here, if I run, the hello and world is going to be printed together without a space between the two words. Let's take a look at this example here. This is a situation where you do not want to have a space in between the two strings. For example, here I'm declaring a variable A equals to good and another variable B equals to buy. Here we're concatenating A and B together. So we're concatenating good and buy together without any space in between. And then we're printing out our message let me just go and put in the local here to declare that variable message and then run test and take a look. And there it printed goodbye. We're going to add two more lines here. So we're declaring a new variable C equals to same. And then here we're printing two things together on the same line. We're printing the message first. The message is goodbye. And then we're printing C. C is Sam. Let's run test and take a look. So the first printed statement here printed goodbye, which is this printed statement here. It printed goodbye. And the second printed statement is on line seven. It printed goodbye, Sam. In this next example here, I'm concatenating strings and numbers. So my variable count here is a number. It's, it has a number five in it. And I'm concatenating this string with my number count and with another string and I need to put local in here as well. Let's run test and take a look. And there it is. It says I have five dollars. So I have comes from here. Five is the count five dollars comes from this string back here. Now I could have done the same exact thing by putting this directly inside the print statement. So I'm going to cut this put it directly into here. Let me fix the format here and I don't need the variable message anymore. I can remove the message variable. Let me stop here first and we're going to run test again and take a look. And there it is. We got the same result without using the message variable. You can even do math inside your print statement. For example, my count here is five, right? What I'm going to do is I'm going to add three to it plus three. Make sure you put a space in there. Otherwise, it's going to think that the, the period is part of the number. So put a space in there and now run test and take a look. There it goes. I have eight dollars, which is five plus three. The final thing I want to say about the print statement is you can print multiple values on the same line. For example, here I have three different variables. And I'm using a single print statement to print all three values on the same line. 
and there you see it, it printed. This is the variable A, B, and C, all on the same line. 